where the heck am I? Why is everything blocks? Sir, sir, can you tell me where I am? Where am I? That's not really the answer. I'm oink. Not very good of a help, sir. Well, hello everybody. I am going to do a tips and tricks kind of series. I mean, just like how to s survive Minecraft, kind of. Um, so first off, you need to collect some wood. About six pieces will be fine. Just one tree is fine. Yeah, it'll be fun because my video recorder wasn't working and I waited till about noon to get it to work in the game. There are times and when it comes night, baddies come out. <laughs> you don't want the baddies to come out, do you? Nope. Those over there, those over there are horses. You need to find a saddle. Which I think you can only find them in dungeons, so it's kind of hard. Excuse me if I sniffle and blow because I am currently sick and I'm bored as heck. So I decided to do it. Stop interrupting me! Jeez. Okay, so first off, you need to find like maybe a mountain or a cave where you can just dig into the ground. Whatever. I prefer caves and stuff. Um, but you can open up I or E, whatever your inventory key is, and you use one of your logs, you left click and place one down in there. Then you can hold left click and just go all around in this little crafting area to make a crafting table. Now you need to place that down, and you need to get some more of these things, this is logs by the way, and get some planks. Now you need to put two of them in the crafting window like this, and you need to put those two down, and then go across like this, and you got a pickaxe. Now you need a mine end somewhere, it doesn't matter where, if you I prefer kind of stony areas and stuff like that. Because then you can have a little kind of base, I guess. I wouldn't want this to be my house forever, but it will do. And you just do you know, mine out some area. Oops. Mine out some area. You can change whatever little hand that you have by using, by scrolling your mouse wheel like this. Or you can tap the number pad keys or the number keys in front of your WASD. And that's how you move around with your WASD. So if you left click, that's how you hit. I'm sure you figured that out already. I get ahead of myself quite a bit, as you can tell. But you just need to make out an area just around here so you can survive the first night everything I am going to be brave and go out to combat even though I am terrified of spiders first thing pretty much everybody learns about me is I am flippin terrified of spiders I see a spider I scream run tell my mom and say, go kill it for me, be my knight in shining armor. <laughs> go kill that sweater for me, because I am flippin' terrified. If you're not lucky like I currently am, you'll find these little black dots and this stuff, which is stone. I'm using a texture pack currently, so it doesn't look like where you spawn in. My blocks look different. And everything's cube because that's just how Minecraft is. You gotta deal with it. It's not too pretty. Now you need to use those sticks that you have once that pickaxe runs out. 
it will run out because of durability. You just need to make it like that. Got your stone pickaxe, yay. Um, you can mine through some more. This pickaxe has more durability and it mines faster, as you can tell. So you can do some more stuff. By the way, cobblestone looks kind of ugly in regular Minecraft, so I wouldn't recommend using it building a home. But this is kind of like going to be my little shelter for the night. And I can teach you guys how to craft some more stuff when we get done mining out the area. Just a minute. We'll get through this. Takes flip of the ages. I like to make it diagonal <laughs> for some reason. I like to make it come in like this. I don't know why. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, so just make your house however you want it to look it could be like made out of dirt and just a little shack and they will look bad and then once you do that you might want to come back to your crafting table put pop down two more sticks of yours because you only get four when you have these and push down wood and make a sword just like this. This is cobblestone. You'll see something that looks like it if you play with the default texture pack. I downloaded this one. It's called Good Morning Craft and it's very pretty. Well, so I'm just trying to search for some cool... I can't see the sun at the mood. I, hold on just real quick. Um, there we go. So as you can see, the moon is rising, and baddies will come out, but actually, you know what? This is probably not the safest idea, because we need to get inside, especially if you're just starting off, because you will die, and you'll be like, what the heck was that? What just blew up my place? This sucks. You'll be trapped and caught in the crossfire of fighting creatures who are also trying to get you. Just tear off your limbs for a little stack. That's all they want. So, you're going to need to block yourself in. And you could... <laughs> I'm being dumb. Just put in a few more of your logs and you'll make some planks if you put them in. A area like this, and you'll make a door. I need two of them because I made my gap too wide. And I'm just going to put them down right here. And you need to save um, some wood like this right here in case if you did not find any coal. Next, you need to make a furnace shaped like this. You can get this, place it down, and you place the oak wood up on top, and you place this on the bottom, and that will make some charcoal so we can light up the room. While we're kind of trapped here, I'm just going to mine up about two blocks because I'm going to make my door come up one so zombies can't break doors. Yes, they can get into your homes. What was that noise? That noise means that there is a cave nearby. It sounds like it's above me, because that's where I heard the noise. Now I got some charcoal. You can, oh, now you can just open up your inventory. If you're in a pitch, you can also make it in the crafting table. I'll show you real quick. You can just make it in the crafting table. Like that too. And you get four torches. Oops. And just place them wherever you like. They'll just light up the area around you. I would light up outside if I got luckier, that is. Uh, because then 
monsters won't spawn so close to you. There are, I think there's like six kind of monsters. I'm not sure. I'll I'll just count them. Why I say them, their names. But there is, hold on, my sounds kind of loud. Um, there is creepers, which blow up. Skeletons who will shoot you in the bomb to be exact, that's mostly where they aim for. Uh, you have zombies who try to eat your brains, like the name it tends, they just try to walk up to you and eat you. You have spiders which will try, which can climb walls, so be careful if you made your house at, if you just surrounded yourself in, because there will probably be a spidey who will come and attack you soon. And um, there are cave spiders, which are smaller spiders. Spiders can only get through a one by two box area. So if I just made a little window over here, there would be a spider who could come through. Cave spiders can just get through a one box hole, but you only find them in mine shafts. And there are also silverfish, which you rarely find, very rarely. They hide in little blocks and they'll call out their friends to come and help get you. And that's pretty much all of that. But there are, um, forgot if there are any more. I'm not exactly sure of it. But, um, non-hostile mobs, mobs that won't kill you are sheep, pigs, as you would see in the intro of the video. There's horses over there, non hostile. There are also cows, wolves, ocelots. Um, try to think what else. There are villagers, that's what. You can also trade with your villagers. I will show you that when I find a village. I will, I will, I will. Um, you can tame wolves by using bones, which you have to kill the skeletons for. So you have to brave some bits. You can tame ocelots. They will turn into cats once you tame them with a fish. But you have to shift and hold it out in your hands. Like if I had a fish and there was an ocelot right there, I would have to wait and very slowly edge him not to startle him because if you move a lot he, they'll start they'll get startled and run away so they have to walk up to you so then you could right click them with the fish it won't it's not 100 percent chance with one though oh you know what i put myself on peaceful that's why nothing's spawning i'm sorry but if you put yourself on peaceful, that's an easy way to, um, to get rid of all the monsters. So you'll have no more monsters near you. And ocelots will scare away, scare away creepers, so you want to put them, like, right over here, make them a little area or something, just so they can roam around and stuff. And they'll just sit right here and no creepers will come at ya, bro. And most of the mobs um, most of the mobs will get on fire like zombies and skeletons and spiders bec don't become hostile. They'll stop like attacking you when it's morning. Creepers still attack you so you want to be careful for them. Creeper is that guy right back there. You see him? See him? Also, monsters can have armor, like you see that one right there. He has some leather armor. There's a very small chance he will drop it. There are also blazemen, ghast, and pigmen, which you, they only spawn in a nether, which you make a portal out of. So you need two blocks right here and fill it up. Uh, three high, and then put these two blocks, and then three high again. And you don't need the corners and then you have to light it on fire with some flint and steel, which you make by getting some gravel and just destroying it until it drops some flint. 
and then there is iron that you can mine and then you need to smelt it in the furnace and that's a lot of stuff spider I'm turning down my sound because I am flippin' terrified of them. I'll turn it off during day because I did not realize that they made that sound. As you can see, I am very terrified of these creatures. But this is how you survive your night. Just hide away your first night. I made a sword, so if something got in... Somehow, if it spawned in or something, I would be able to defend myself. Also, you can block by right-clicking, and that'll take away some damage. When creepers blow up, and you can hear it, and you don't have time to kill them, you can do that. You can also sprint by double-tapping your arrow key. So, in the next video, we'll cover hunger, and we'll try to find a cave to go mining. So, that will be it for the video I guess. I'll see you next time. Bye!